The 2023 Hampton Classic had a multitude of exhibits, productions, food, and entertainment. The climax was its five-star Longines Grand Prix Championship. It pitted the world's best riders in intense show jumping competition. Only two riders survived without any faults, leading to a dramatic jump-off finale. We're here with the ringmaster of the Hampton Classic, Alan Keeley. Welcome to the 2023 Hampton Classic. We've been blessed with amazing weather this year, and it's really opened up for a lot of fun and good showing. I'm here with president of the board, Dennis Suskin, who's been involved putting many of these productions together. What do you got to tell us, Dennis? Well, this is actually bigger and better. I hate to say it, but uh, it's true. I'm here with Jeanette Barth Cohn, the executive in charge of all this Hampton Productions, year after year, major, major, major production. 18 years she's been doing this and keeps getting bigger and better. So what's so important about the Hampton Classic and how do you fit into this whole Hampton vibe? Sure, so the Hampton Classic has been a fixture on the calendars for people in the Hamptons and on the equestrian circuit for now 48 years. So it's been quite some time that we've been here. And um, I think it's important because it gives people an opportunity to see the sport firsthand. You know, people might like horses but not have seen them in person. and just think the sport is exciting and um, a really great way to introduce the sport to people who maybe don't have the chance otherwise. Also, this year I understand you have more international flair and competition or competitors than ever before. Is that something you've been hoping for? Yeah, we've been working hard to make sure that we have um, a really safe and excellent surface for our international horses to be riding on. Our Grand Prix ring we renovated prior to last year. And this year we jogged um, two, 200 horses in our two FEI divisions, so um, which is maybe a little more than we should have. So maybe next year we'll, we'll skinny it down a little. But it's exciting. It'll be an amazing, um, amazing week and great competition. I'm here with Cara Viel. She created the poster for the Hampton Classic for 2022. She's back and bigger than ever with new stuff. Cara, what's it like coming home now? Man, this is fantastic. I'm here with longtime patron of the Hampton Classic, Alvin Topping, like third, fourth generation. They've been doing this now. What do you have to tell us, Alvin? Well, number one, welcome to the Hampton Classic. And I have to say, it's bigger and better than ever. Come and see for yourself. Guys, we're here with Danny Waldman, one of the Olympic uh, level riders. Uh, she's now doing some commentating, too. What do you think about this upcoming event? Gorgeous day, very excited. Got a strong field coming up. And it's going to be a great Grand Prix. We're here with Marty Bauman, who's the press chief of the Hampton Classic Horse Show. He's been doing this for many, many, many years. He's in charge of so much important stuff. Who do we have to look forward to in this year's competition? Who's who's here? Well, we have some of the best riders and horses, not only from this country, but from around the world. We have Olympic veterans like McLean Ward, like Ken Farrington, like Jessica Springsteen. We have past winners of this Hampton Classic Grand Prix that include, again, McLean Ward and Ken Farrington, our defending champion, Carl Cook, previous winners, Mario Delorier, an Olympic veteran from Canada. Also, Daniel Blumen, who is a two-time Olympian. He rides for Israel. He is a two-time champion here at the Hampton Classic. The best are all here. It's such an important year here because not only is there top prize money, not only are there valuable points in the Longines FEI Worldwide Rider Rankings, but there are two major events coming up, and we have the U.S. Olympic Show jumping coach flew in last night from California to observe these horses and riders as they get ready to have, send their teams to the World Team Finals in Barcelona in September and then the Pan American Games in October. So there's a lot at stake here for these riders and we can guarantee the best show jumping you can find anywhere. We're here with Jessica Springsteen, a USA Olympic team member and competing in this year's Hampton Classic. What's it like, the competition this year? Very exciting to be back competing at the Hamptons. I came here when I was a kid, so to be jumping the Grand Prix here today is very exciting. Okay, guys, we're here at the Hampton Classics with one of the best riders in the world, uh, Ken Farrington. He's won the Classic twice, been a USA team member, uh, and uh, literally was rated number one rider in the world at one point in his career. Kent, what brings you to the Hampton Classic right, over so and over again? Uh, great atmosphere, area, great crowd, one of the best events we have in the United game. States, so I'm excited to be back. It's been a while since I've been here, so uh, happy to have it back on my calendar. Yeah. I'm here at the Hampton Classic with Skylar Riley, a top uh, 
equestrian. She's riding in the Grand Prix this year, and she's hoping to move up in the ranks. Been around for a while. Uh, what do you think of the Hampton Classic so far? Well, I love that ring. The ring is a fabulous venue for show jumping. Uh, it's held some of the most prestigious events in our sport. Um, top prize money, top competitors and horses. Uh, the jumps are amazing, and the atmosphere, I think, is probably my favorite. I'm here with one of the uh, well-established riders in the Hampton Classic, last 20 years competing at a top level, Laura Bowery. Laura, what brings you back to the Classic every year? Um, I think uh, very close with the horse show on, on the board. I live down the road. It's always been a horse show that's very close to my heart. Obviously, all the international uh, riders that come here, it really brings everything to the height of the sport. So I enjoy it very much. We're here with Daniel Blumen, one of the best riders in the country, the world. He's ridden internationally, the Olympics, and won the Hampton Classic twice. He's back again for another shot. What brings you back every year, Daniel? Uh, it's one of the, the events that we love the most during the year. You know, we're kind of local. We're in North Salem, New York, and a lot of our owners are from, our clients are from here in Long Island. So it's a beautiful place to be. I'm here with uh, Jagger Topping, who uh, is uh, right, who has been a patron. The family's been patrons of the Hampton Classic since its inception. Uh, what's new, exciting, and different about this year? There's always a difference every year. It's a big party weekend here in the Hamptons. My wife and my daughter, Phoebe Topping, is competing at a little bit of a higher level in the meter 30 um, jumper division with a new horse she had got a year and a half ago that she imported herself. But of course, at this horse show, you see you know, an international group of riders, some of the best in the world. So Mr. Cassinides, uh, very well known uh, every area of media and uh, business. What brings you to the Hampton Classic? Oh, it's a beautiful day. The sun is shining and it's the end of the season. And I want to make sure if I missed any old friends, I get to see them here. And we, we, I love to see my old friends and make new friends. And, and it's a beautiful day and I love the horses. Only Adrian Sternlicht and Daniel Blumen had clean rounds, leading to a jump off for the win. Adrian Sternlicht on our horse Fakwatal S rode first. She knocked down one rail, giving her four faults with a total course time of 38.24 seconds. Next rode Daniel Blumen on his horse Ladriano Z. He rode a perfect, faultless trip with a finish time of 37.17 seconds. That gave Blumen the win in a time that was over one second faster than Cernlich's run. Upon Blumen satisfactorily completing his final jump, the audience rose in a roar of applause. Blumen's ride was followed by an award ceremony and then a ride of the first three competitors and Longines Rider Challenge winner around the arena while being congratulated by the attending fans. Awards continued at the post-event conference, which we next attended. To my immediate right, the rider who is the most consistent all week long, the winner of yesterday's class and his overall performance throughout this year's Hampton Classic has made him the winner of this year's Longine Rider Challenge from Ireland, Dara Kenny. Next to Dara, today's third place finisher from Venezuela, Luis Fernando Larazabal. At my far right, the first clean ride of the day. There was a long time coming, but she did it. A gold medalist at the World Championships in 2018 from the United States, Adrian Sternlich. Prior to today, in the 45-year history of the Hampton Classic, only three riders had emerged as winners of our featured Grand Prix three times. Of course, McLean Ward, who has won it a record seven times, and then Hall of Famers Rodney Jenkins and Margie Engel, who had three wins each. We now will add another name to that list, and we always call it the center seat, even though with four it's not quite the center, but we always refer to the winner being in the center seat. In the center seat, we are thrilled to welcome two-time Olympic veteran, and now a three-time winner of the Longines Hampton Classic Grand Prix from Israel, Daniel Blumen. Because Ladriano is a very special horse, and it's been rare in his entire career that he would have more than one down. 
So yeah, I was I was feeling confident and uh, yeah, very very grateful for the horse. The first time I won this Grand Prix was six years ago, and he was with him. So six years later, he's still here and strong, winning. So that for me is a real testament of what we're doing with the team, the grooms, the managers, barriers, beds, you know, just everything. It's it's a very very cool win to him. When you get to go last in a jump off, you have a huge advantage you know, because you do know what you have to do. You know, so Adrian did a, a beautiful course. I thought she took the risk that she needed to take. If she doesn't have a little bit of bad luck there and jumps that jump clear, the amount of pressure on me is is serious, you know, because then I have to actually go fast and lead the jumps up. When she had one down, my plan was a bit the same as in the first round. You know, I knew that I could be faster than her, and I knew that normally Adriana wouldn't drop more than one pole. So with that plan in mind, I thought that if I executed my plan, I had a good chance to win today. At the moment, is to go to the Gold Cup with him, and then uh, go to jump the Major League in Greenwich. But uh, really, really, our goal is to be in Paris next year. He's going to be 16, so we're already pushing it a little bit on the, on the, on the final stage of his career, but we've taken very good care of him. Uh, we love him in the team, and uh, we feel that uh, he deserves to be an Olympic horse. So my plan at the moment is that, and uh, whatever I have to do in order to get there is what, uh, what we're going to do. Any other class that we jump before then is, is just to, to get ready for that. A huge congratulations. The two of you can win anywhere, anytime. Great day today. Thank you, Peter. Daniel, you made history again. Third, third time. Third is a charm. How's it yeah. feel? Yeah, it feels great. You know, we love the show. For us, it's a family show with friends, with people we love. So it's always great when the result works out. We're looking forward to seeing many more. Thank you, Thank man. You. The 2023 Hampton Classic Week was amazing. Congratulations to all contestants in the Grand Prix Championship. Special recognition to the two top competitors, runner-up Adrian Sternlich aboard Facquital S and their best performance to date. And congratulations to this year's winners, Daniel Blumen aboard Ladriano Z for a spectacular performance.